Welcome back to Fast Money. Shares of Revlon surging over the last two days. Retail investors seem to be betting that the bankrupt cosmetics giant will successfully emerge from Chapter 11, just like Hertz did last year. But our traders think you should tread carefully in this one. Here's uh, Feinerman, Karen Feinerman, with her Feinerman's fine print. So what should we, what to worry oh, nice, about, Karen? What to nice worry graphic. about. Yeah, that. That you, got, cool. uh, you have to look at the debt, right? Bankruptcies are always about debt. And so we've got a company that has an enormous amount of debt. So let's just look at the most, most senior first lien, right? These have the biggest, the first claim on the value of this company. This debt has gotten crushed. The whole float's $800 million and change of this particular tranche of debt. It's trading at $0.33 cents on the dollar. So that's telling you this whole tranche trades at $250 million, and yet it should get another $560 million in a bankruptcy, way before the equity gets anything. And there's tons of tranches of debt. All of them become senior to the equity. And yet the equity today trading uh, in the last few days, it's actually closed at a buck 17, I think, on the day after they filed, traded as high as nine. And this is a short squeeze, squeeze of giant proportions. I tried to borrow some stock today. I wasn't going to short it because it could trade up to anything crazy. But just to see, is it available? No, it's not available. I see thousands and thousands of options trading. You've got to just, I, I understand if you want to play the greater fool theory, and that may work. It very well could work. But at the end of the day, I think Revlon equity isn't going to be worth as much. One other thing to think about, there is nobody who wants to get out of this stock, I think, more than Ron Perlman. And there is nobody who is trickier at, at sort of subverting or working his way through a capital structure than Ron Perlman. If I were he, I would have a bank seize my shares and pay them off and, and say, you know what, you owe a loan, we're, we're selling your shares. That's, I don't know how else he can sell them right now. He's an insider. Mm -hmm. But you've got to think he wants to. Right. And he owns 46 million shares. He's the largest shareholder by a lot. The game seems rigged to me. Maybe you can make money. Great. Have at it, as Dan would say. <laughs> but at the end of the day, probably don't be there. Well, it's not going to be a good look.